Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We're back here at Camp Esperanza, Esperanza here at the uh, Chaparral Plaza, uh, where we have approximately uh, 2,000 uh, migrants uh, that are camped out waiting to uh, the opportunity to apply for asylum. And uh, we're getting ready here with the final touches on the uh, meal that was uh, being prepared for lunch, a late lunch. Uh, courtesy of uh, Via Migrante, our uh, program through Via International and our sister organization, Los Niños de Baja California. And we're gonna turn the camera around a little bit and uh, give you a view here of the kitchen and uh, the preparation. Okay. As you can see, we're getting uh, everything ready to be served. Our uh, migrant brothers and sisters are going to be enjoying some uh, soya tacos de cabeza. And uh, that is one of the menus that is uh, part of our uh, Via Migrante Nutricology program. Um, Casa de Luz. Uh, just uh, completed their program um, here a few weeks ago. Uh, they were uh, one of the uh, first participants of the uh, migrant nutricology program along with uh, Madres y Familias Deportadas and at the present moment uh, also Juventud 2000 uh, is uh, also going through the, uh, the program. But, uh, Casa de Luz has uh, completed the program However, uh, because of its success, uh, nutrition, and great taste of the uh, nutritious meals, uh, they prepared uh, some of the meals uh, on that menu from the Nutricology program, also here at uh, Camp Esperanza. And today our, our migrant brothers and sisters are gonna enjoy some delicious tacos, of, tacos de cabeza de soya. Heading up the uh, the workshop today, the uh, new college workshop is um, Griselda, one of our promoters, uh, excellent promoter. Uh, we just she was the promoter that uh, that handled the uh, program at Madres y Familias Deportadas, and it was a tremendous success. And she's here uh, joining us today. And uh, along with her, we have a, a very special guest and friend, uh, Aida, who is our uh, communications coordinator at Via International and also at uh, Los Niños de Baja California. Uh, let's say hi to Aida and uh, have her uh, tell us a little bit about what we're doing out here today. ¿Quieres escuchar? No, no puedes escuchar, mi amor. Porque él tiene el I have a friend here who okay. wants to be okay. in the spotlight, I guess. Um, hi, everybody. Well, we're here at Chaparral. There's 2,000 people here, and today is the first time that we're going to start uh, with uh, the kitchens, migrant kitchens TJ. I don't know if Robert already told you this. Uh, we're doing uh, some of the menus of the course of the nutrition and ecology classes that we have done for more than 30 years at Los Niños de Baja California. And um, we're very excited. This is a, a community that um, it's new for us uh, at VIA, a migrant and deportees community. Um, but we are very excited, very blessed to be here and to be um, here with this extraordinary people helping out helping the leaders of these communities uh, help out uh, the, the, their own community. Uh, we're going to start uh, preparing, well, not we, I just got here like two hours ago. Uh, Gris, uh, who is a uh, promotora from Los Niños, and the migrant community has been here since 9 a.m. preparing the meals for lunch. Uh, after the lunch, you're going to clean and they're going to start doing dinner and this is what they have been doing for 90 days that they have been here at the chaparral uh, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, tacos uh, de cabeza de soya which are 
super delicious, super yummy. I can't wait to taste them. And, and yeah, we're very excited to be here. Thank you, Aida. And uh, just want to give a big shout out to uh, all those uh, generous uh, friends that uh, are making these meals possible uh, for our migrant community and support our uh, migrant leaders here in Tijuana who uh, dedicate themselves to, uh, to helping our migrant community, uh, such as, uh, you know, in this case, uh, our friend from Casa de Luz. Um, we're also uh, working a program with Juventud 2000. Uh, we just finished one with Mothers y Familias Deportadas. So it's, um, it's an incredible program to help our community leaders to empower them as they continue to, uh, to help our uh, migrant community. And uh, let's, uh, let's say hi to, uh, to uh, Griselda. Gris. Gris, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Qué estamos preparando, Gris? Bien, gracias a Dios. Estamos preparando... Estamos preparando... Agua de Jamaica, deliciosa. Gracias, Gris. De nada. We're preparing uh, some uh, very delicious and very nutritious Jamaica water. And we also have here with us uh, Irving, who since day one has uh, taken upon uh, the leadership of Casa de Luz uh, to feed our migrants here at uh, at Camp Esperanza. Irving, oh. would you like to say something to our friends? Hello everybody. Uh, we are very happy and glad and honored to have uh, Aida uh, from Los Niños de Baja California, Via Internacional, with Robert, with Chris, uh, teaching us how to cook a delicious meal, a nutritious meal. And uh, this is uh, 90 days we were living here, camping here, preparing three times per day. So uh, every support is amazing for us because we have to cook a lot of food for everybody. And now with all the efforts uh, from other organizations, we start seeing the light through all this process. Little by little people is, uh, has been processed seek asylum so we are uh, doubling efforts to support more people because daily more families and people is arriving with the hope to to go and start a process to seek asylum and to have protection in their lives so thank you very much to be here with us to following us and uh, we invite you if you want to come and uh, Helping us to prepare this delicious meal it will be our pleasure to have you with all of us. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you, Irving. Thank you, Irving. And uh, yeah, we're we're very grateful to uh, those organizations that have stepped up to the plate uh, in support of our uh, migrant community, the uh, awesome attorneys at Al Otro Lado, uh, Border Angels, uh, Dulce, who will be here. Uh, shortly to do some more uh, uh, work with our community along with uh, Psicologos y Fronteras uh, for um, some therapy sessions, one-on-one -on -one, uh, therapy sessions. Uh, great people, great uh, organizations here in support of our uh, migrant community. And uh, we're back to Aida. I just want to say real quick, thank you for all the people who donated. This is possible because of you. Um, and also, if you haven't, uh, please, uh, kitchenstj.com is the website for uh, donations. I think tomorrow is the last day and the donations are going to help out more than 2,000 people that are here at El Chaparral. So thank you so much. Kitchenstj.com. Thank you. Thank you, Aida. Yeah, uh, kitchenstj.com, and definitely thank you very much for all those that uh, have stepped up to the plate. Um, we have a, an incredible friend out in uh, Dayton, Ohio, 
uh, who immediately when she heard uh, of the program uh, and the need for um, helping our migrant community, uh, she stepped up to the plate and has done an incredible job uh, to help out. So we, we appreciate it. We appreciate every one of you who has uh, generously uh, donated to make this possible. And uh, we're going to continue. We're going to continue here every Saturday um, to prepare a, a nutritious meal uh, for our uh, community. Uh, we're just about ready to, to get going on uh, starting to, uh, to serve our community. As you can see, that is the... Uh, uh, soya made in cabeza and for all those taco lovers you know that tacos de cabeza are incredibly delicious and if made from uh, soy they're not only delicious but they're very nutritious all your veggies uh, prepped up cabbage onion cilantro you can't uh, leave cilantro out lemon and of course uh, some green salsa and of course we need something to wash it down with so uh, some Hawaiian water to help us wash it down and let's see we can get a couple of words here from our from our friends hermanita Algunas palabras, algo que te gustaría decirle a nuestros amigos. Sí, pues. Hola, muy buenas tardes. Eh, me llamo Verónica. Pues acá estamos con mucho amor y con mucho cariño haciéndole comida a los emigrantes de acá del Chaparral. Y pues eh, es un platillo, una delicia. Muy rica. Son unos taquitos. Eh. Gracias. Gracias. I'll give you a little bit of a view where we're at the in, from the inside of the camp and uh, I'm sorry but uh, you know because of the uh, nature of uh, the migrant uh, here at this community um, we don't want to show any uh, uh, face pictures or images uh, especially of children because uh, that is our main concern, to protect uh, their well-being and their safety. So just so you have an idea of uh, the conditions that uh, our, our friends have been enduring. You would not endure this unless uh, you were fearing for your life and your only thought was to save your life, the life of your family, of your children. And again, I'm not going to show any any facial images. Um, let's give you an idea. And right now the call is being made. The call is being made uh, to line up for uh, for the meal. So we can expect to, to have quite a big crowd gather here very, uh, very shortly. Yeah, we are. Yeah. 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 Y
Nada más ponte la mascarita porque no quiero, no quiero que salga tu rostro. Folks, this is uh, the uh, tacos de soya de cabeza that uh, our uh, brothers and sisters are, are being fed. As you can see, they are awesome. They are, they, they look delicious. I'm gonna have to try some here myself. ¿Cómo ves, Musa? ¿Te gustan los tacos de, de cabeza de soya? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Sabrosos? Sí, son... Provecho, ¿eh? Gracias. Esperanza. Esperanza. Tetwest. Chaparral Plaza. Border Fest. Our prayer is that um, Homeland Security can uh, put their plan together and um, activate whatever they need to do to. Um, allow our community here to apply for asylum which is a an international legal process that's why they're here because they don't want to try to cross undocumented into the u.s they're here uh, going through the struggle of living in these conditions because they want to do the right thing they want an opportunity to enter the u.s legal way and that's something that uh, we need to uh, to focus a lot on because uh, there's so much misinformation out there but uh, the reality is that that's why they're here that's why they endure living under these conditions because they want to do the right thing uh, regardless of uh, the uh, reasons why they had to flee their their hometown their home country Just a few yards from the U.S. Our friends slowly but surely start to gather. They're just the first of the uh, the many that uh, will be fed.
uh, to uh, keep the waste down, uh, the uh, the people here in the camp they uh, they were all provided uh, a uh, plastic uh, plastic plate, plastic uh, cup, reusable. That way, you know, less waste is uh, created, less trash. Occasionally, uh, you might have a, a, a shot of the sky or the top of a uh, of a tent. Uh, please uh, don't uh, don't mind that. It's done to uh, to protect the uh, images of uh, any of the children. It's an estimate that there's about 2,000 uh, migrants here at the uh, Chaparral Plaza, right at the uh, Perwes border crossing. The idea is to be out here every Saturday, uh, providing a uh, a nutritious meal to uh, TJ Kitchen's program of uh, Via uh, International and our uh, sister organization, Los Niños de Baja California, through the Nutricology uh, program that um, Los Niños de Baja California has been carrying out in our colonias for over 30 years more like uh, 35 years or so. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer and get uh, a view of uh, Okay. <laughs> little bit of a view of uh, our own Aida and uh, friends helping out our uh, community leaders in uh, feeding our community. ¿Qué horas te vas? ¿A qué horas te vas? A las 7 y media. ¿Hoy? No, el lunes. El lunes. 10 de mayo. 7 y media de la mañana. Feliz día de las madres. Ay, gracias. One of our uh, friends here at the camp that just received notice that um, her parole has been approved. So she will be able to. Uh, um, to gain interest into the U.S. to uh, 
continue her asylum case. So it's going to be a very happy Mother's Day for, for her and for many others that uh, um, have received authorization uh, to be paroled into the U.S. We're very happy for her and, uh, you know, just keep um, keep working and going forward uh, so that as many people that uh, that are filing for this protection are able to uh, to enter the U.S. and, and seek the protection that uh, that they're entitled to. You know what a portable kitchen looks like that heats, uh, you know, we estimate there's 2,000 people in the camp, but of course not everybody will show up to each meal. There's an estimate that about 1,500 will, uh, will be fed at the different uh, meals that are prepared. But this gives you a, a little bit of a view of uh, what a portable kitchen looks like. And again, there's Grace, uh, our promoter, and, and Aida, our communications uh, coordinator. Is he working? <laughs> Okay, friends, well, we're going to go ahead and cut our transmission for now. Um, we will come back uh, at you maybe a little bit later on uh, when uh, we start the um, uh, the workshops on uh, with the uh, psychologists that will be here, Psicologos Sin Fronteras, and our uh, attorneys from uh, Border Angels. But we also want to thank... Uh, Al otro lado, who has been uh, doing an incredible job, as they always do, helping our community. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, we'll come back to you a little bit later on. God bless.